cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Honey. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores oh. I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rugs oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? Over <laughs> the carefree cat. So, so awesome. awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Daddy ordered the Carefree Cat System, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree Cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, Carefree Cat, turn on your cleaning mode. Yes! That's so awesome! What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Ah. Ah. But then something went wrong. Trash on the floor. Come in, please. Huh? Uh, stop! My puzzle pieces! Laundry is done. Please remove your items. Uh -huh. Oh, it washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> oh, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. Junior Archaeologists. The kittens and Mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. Whew! A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. 
The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Bee-wow, 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 bee-wow! My, my, darling. It looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh! A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, good morning, morning, sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> 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 The kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here, and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. Nope. I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Walkie Talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called walkie talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Uh, attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you too, Cookie. 
I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I am in Africa. Over! This is Booting here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over! Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over! Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookiekins, or you'll tear the backside of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The, the backside, backside of your, your pants? pants. <laughs> 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 Why does that lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for. It sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention, huh? this huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie oh. managed to find the police walkie-talkie oh. station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, yes it's, it's us. us. Then, by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great. Copy, Copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our own backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. All cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Wow! Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. One winter's morning, the kitty cats looked out the window at the melting snow. The snow is almost melted and the holidays are coming. Will Santa Claus still come when there's no snow anywhere? Well, I'm sure the Frost Fairy will make more. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairies have a lot to take care of preparing for the holidays. We should invite them to our house then, so they can both get all rested up and then make more snow and presents. Awesome! We're going to invite Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy to come. Oh, that's very sweet, my little darlings. Daddy and I will be very happy to invite them. <clears throat> right, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll call them right now. Hmm. Meow. Meow. Santa Claus uh, is Bruno. Oh. We're sorry everyone is busy making gifts in snow right now. Please call again later. Happy holiday hugs to you and yours. Uh, I got their machine, but it sounds like they're very busy indeed. Come on, tell us. Are the Frost Fairy and Santa coming over? Well, uh... uh... Yes, they're coming soon. Both of them, tonight. Hooray! Me-wow, 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 me-wow. 
If we can't get a hold of them, then we'll just have to become the Frost Fairy and Santa Claus. That's a great idea, my darling. We'll be needing costumes then. Oh! Whoa. But the store was almost out of costumes. I'm worried this costume might be a little bit small. And that one looks like it's way too big for me. This could be a problem. The kitty cats were very excited to greet Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. bigger in real life. Well, I have to admit that I do love holiday feasts. Oh, just like our daddy does. <laughs> hey, you laugh like our daddy as well. Well, up in the North Pole where we come from, everybody laughs just like that. <laughs> Why don't we have a lovely cup of tea? Now, please be careful, it's hot. Uh -huh. Why did Santa Claus's voice sound just like our mommy's? Oh, that's because Santa Claus really likes cold drinks, not hot. Hot drinks make his voice sound high. <laughs> Let's all do a bring on the snow dance. What do you say, everyone? Snow dance, yeah! And then it will start snowing again! <laughs> it looks like they didn't recognize us, darling. You look really great with this braid. Maybe you should grow one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Santa Claus, you're dancing around like you've got a lot of energy there. It looks like you've probably had enough rest now. Does that mean that you'll be able to make it start snowing more outside again? Um, snowing? Oh, whoa! Ah, get off me, Beard! Hmm. Hey, that's really our daddy! Yeah, and that's really our mommy! I knew it was really you guys all the time! What did you dress up as Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy for? Uh, the real Frost Fairy and Santa Claus were too busy to come over this evening. I think you guys are the coolest Santa Claus and best Frost Fairy ever! <laughs> Everybody, look! It's starting to snow! Looks like this is what Santa and the Frost Fairy were so busy with tonight. Making fresh snow for everyone! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kitties! By the way, Santa Mommy... And Daddy Frost Fairy... Might have something in the sack for you to open! Daddy and Mommy Christmas had brought little gifts for the kittens which they all enjoyed whilst the snow fell outside, making a kitty cat winter wonderland. Scary Cats! It was the kitty cat's yearly fright night, and a very excited cookie, candy, and pudding dressed up in spooky costumes to scare each other. I'm going as a monster! <laughs> and I'm going as a little witch! And I'm going as a, uh, skeleton, see? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Boo! Were, Were you scared? scared? Oh my word! You are so scary you turned me into a Freddy cat! <laughs> Mom's right. You sure do look super spooky! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we scared Mom and Dad. But who's gonna scare the three of us? Aw, uh, nobody could scare us. We're way too brave for that. Why don't we invite some of our friends over? One of them might be able to scare us. The first frightful friend was Cupcake. Okay, Cupcake, scare us. I'm not Cupcake. I'm Princess Spider Cupcake. Boo! Cupcake isn't exactly terrifying. Oh, well, but at least I'm beautiful. The next petrifying pal was Smudge, who loved scaring his friends. Oh, oh the crap's over Testing. I'm totally a spooky vampire. Hmm. Well, sorry, Smudge, but that didn't work either. I think it's impossible to scare us kittens. So, everyone having a great fright night? No, we're not even a little bit frightened. Hmm. Not scared at all, huh? 
Okie dokie. Well, we're just going to do some gardening. So while we're gone, why don't you decorate the house? You know, with scary stuff. Spooky decorations are exactly what we need. Excited, the kitties and their friends went to work. Cookie drew some fierce monster faces. Cupcake cut out a bunch of paper spiders. And everyone else made ghosts and bats out of tissue paper. Count of three, we all turn around and see how scary it is. One, two, three. Huh? Uh, uh, it's actually kind of pretty. I know, and it's supposed to be scary. What if we tell each other scary stories? Vampire Smudge knew tons of scary stories. Yeah. It was a cold and dark and stormy night. Nope, I'm still not scared. I know how to make it scary. Not, not bad. bad. All right. It was a cold and dark and stormy night. Okay, I'm scared. I'm not scared. Smudge hasn't done anything spooky yet. Huh? Candy, uh, how did you turn out the hall light from over here? I didn't. Oh, no. Someone must be out there. <laughs> or maybe it was just the wind? Or could it be an actual ghost? <laughs> Or could it be a big black bat? Well, whatever it is, I know just how to handle them. Cookie had a bright idea. Go, Cookie! You're so brave. Ah! Guys, there's two giant bats as big as cats! Ah! <laughs> hey there! Did somebody say something about giant bats? Who? Oh, did we scare ya? <laughs> <laughs> Guess you were right, Cookie. These bats are exactly the size of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Your costumes are absolutely awesome. I totally thought you were real bats. Goodness, your decorations are all just so creative. In fact, they're so pretty that it's almost scary. Ready for a happy surprise? Candy Darling, the lights. What could it be? Oh. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's Fright Night cake turned out to be frightfully delicious. The kittens ended up sharing a funny, yummy Fright Night with family and friends. Chessmates! One day, Pudding took his chessboard with him to the playground. Cookie, would you like to play chess with me? Not really, Pudding. It's boring playing with you because you always win. Hey, Candy, do you want to play? I don't know how. Oh, great. I want to become a brilliant chess player, but I can't practice with anyone. Hey. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Pudding, we could ask one of our friends to play a game of chess with you. How about that? Hey, yeah, we'll find you somebody great to play with for sure. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The first friend to agree to play chess with Pudding was Cupcake. But Cupcake, why are you only moving your horsey? That piece is called a knight, you know. I like to move it because it's the prettiest. There, checkmate. You lost, Cupcake. Well, so what? I'm going to find some ribbons. The next player was Smudge. I get to be black if I'm going to play. Ha! I just took your pawn. And hey, I just took your knight. I took another pawn. And checkmate. Huh? I win again. Oh, already? It was turning out that finding a good chess player wasn't easy. I'll move there. No, wait, there. Or there. Or how about there? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna move a different one, all right? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Mustard, I took your bishop. What? Oh. I love that bishop so much. He was my favorite piece in the whole game. <laughs> I'm not playing. But finally, Smart Dart came along to play chess with Pudding. Uh, believe it or not, I have never played chess before. Wow. wow. What? We were all sure that you'd be a chess expert. So Pudding explained to Dart how the different pieces move in chess. 
Why is the horse only allowed to move like that? Why can't he gallop all over the board? And why can the king only move one space at a time while the queen can go all over? Well, uh, those are just the rules of the game. Nah, sorry. Chess is definitely not for me. But with no one to help me practice, I'll never be a cool chess champion. I'll never win any cups at all. <laughs> win cups? Hey, remember? Doesn't Daddy have chess trophies on the shelves in his office? Yeah, Daddy must be pretty good at playing chess pudding. Um, well, checkmate. Huh? huh? <laughs> really nice job, Pudding. <laughs> How could he beat you that fast? You're a champion. Look at all the chess trophies you've got. <laughs> oh, they aren't mine. They're your mother's. Why, she played chess back in school and she won all the competitions because she was the very best. Ha! I have a really good idea. We need to call Mom now. Wow, that was great! Yay! Well, Pudding, that was a really good game. It looks like our family might contain the future champion of the world. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy surprised everyone by baking a honey glazed chess set cake. <laughs> well, your daddy might not be a chess champion, but he's a dessert <laughs> master. Check. Bang, mate. <laughs> and that's how Pudding found a worthy opponent, and Daddy invented a wonderful new treat for tea time. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? Ah! <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? <laughs> uh, 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 we need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look at him go! Huh? Huh? 
your own team. Oh, no. Uh. I'm just terrible at team sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. Uh. Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> Oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Great! Thanks! Now we can learn to play all sorts of tunes. You could play us lullabies at bedtime. But first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. Hey! <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. <laughs> Yo -ho! Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. Candy, I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. <laughs> Arr, our pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr, oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr. Arr, don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr, Arr. I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm, I think you can help me. Can help me, can help me. Hey, hey. <laughs> all hands on deck. But what about your practice? Oh, that. I'm all done. Good morning. Good morning. I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh. Huh? Ba 
Hey! Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. Hey, that's from our favorite show. I would love to play that. Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. Oh, well done. Bravo. You did it. That was really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. Practicing scales really works. <laughs> so <laughs> The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. Aliens. One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens. Time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi! I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, <laughs> we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. It's we're late. Yeah, yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stopped. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please! Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? 
No, Chase will know it was us all along. We just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow! Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first! I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right then, how do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play Cookie next. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, one, two, three. three. Rock. Scissors. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Uh, uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. <laughs> so the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors then. But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors! Ship! Magnifying glass! Jump rope! It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Uh -huh. Huh? The nail could puncture the tire, and the uh -huh. hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Huh? Oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> Quite fine.
fond of this new game. You're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs.